checking out from a hotel always kind of makes me sad, but you know what? It's not the end of the journey, it's the beginning of the journey, so I'm sure that there's only going to be really awesome adventures that await me in Pennsylvania. So I just want to say thank you for everybody for following me on this journey, and I want to thank everyone in my family who's been supportive. I love you guys, all of you. Please do me a favor, and if you like the vlog, and if you like the channel, hit like and subscribe. I am now leaving the Syracuse area and going from Syracuse towards Buffalo, Rochester, Western New York, and I'm gonna try to get myself to Erie, Pennsylvania tonight. I probably should shoot for Cleveland and I could probably get there. It would only take me about five hours, but I'm going to see how the weather holds up. It's snowing really, really bad here in upstate New York. It's not anything that I haven't seen in uh, Massachusetts, but obviously seeing as this is a big trip, I think I'm gonna pace myself and just wait and see how things pan out. If the snow gets really, really bad, I may camp out in Erie, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania tonight. Otherwise, I may press on to Cleveland. So I am at the Motel 6. I am at my hotel in Erie, Pennsylvania, and this actually isn't too bad. This place is definitely not bad for $57 a night. I was able to pay with cash, no deposit required, so that's pretty good. They have video on demand. I don't believe they have continental breakfast, but that's okay. I don't really think it's that great anyways, although I did have a really great waffle at the road, I forget what it's called, Roadside Roadhouse Inn in, um, where was it, outside Syracuse, New York. That was my last hotel. So this one looks pretty good, but you know what? I still have to edit the vlog from yesterday, so give me a chance to do that before we experience Pennsylvania. It's going to be snowing really bad tonight, so I'm probably going to stay in and relax, and maybe I might walk to the bar next door and get a drink. <laughs> Poutine tots look delicious. And I was like, well, I need this fresh Okay, poutine tots, awesome. Yum. So one really, really great thing about this place is that they turn the lights down. Really nice to drive. Loving it. Whiskey and drown, and my beard chases my blues away. And I'll be okay. Okay, so now it is time for me to make the trek from the bar where I just had four beers back to my motel at Motel 6. And I am totally, oh shit, oh Jesus Christ, I almost just, almost just took a digger. So I am going to make a beeline over to the motel, which transcends all roads and pathways over this big snowy bank right over here. I'm going to show you. This is where I have to trek to get back. Do you think I can make it back home on foot? You think I can do it? I don't know, I think so. <laughs> so my thoughts right now, I know this isn't ideal at all, but I gotta say, you know what? Having never been to Pennsylvania, I'm kinda glad that I got stuck in a snowstorm. Honestly, I really am. Because you know what? This is a unique experience. 
and I guess whatever the weather is, I'll have to, I'll have to deal with the weather, whether I like it or not. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, wow, this really is. I got the Pennsylvania experience. I definitely did. How's this for your road trip across America? Jesus Christ. Home for the night. Or something like home. Really, really proud of myself considering I cleaned my car completely off without an ice scraper or a brush or anything like that. Here at Adam Goldstein TV, we improvise. All right, so Erie, Pennsylvania was pretty cool. Definitely was a nice hotel. Time to press on to Ohio now. See you later, Pennsylvania. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get updates on new videos. And check us out on the web at www.goldsteintv.cf or check us out on social media on Twitter at Goldstein TV and on Instagram at Adam Goldstein TV. Thanks again, guys. Good luck out there.